I really like the idea of like owning my own data and like asking companies to to then pay me because they are using me as well. That's such a cool idea. Never thought about that. Before. It just seems like stuff always gets leaked of data from companies. So even if it's in a secure thing, someone hacks it and it gets out anyways. So okay. I guess I'm under the false assumption that asking the app not to track means <laughs> that it's more secure. To me, maybe it's, it is priceless. Uh, like my information um, and the, I guess the, the personal damages that I could incur if my data was not secure, mm -hmm. was being used by other people. But uh, to others, I have no idea how much it is worth to someone who isn't me. Okay. It says you can generate value, so I'm assuming if that means I can sell or get a discount or something at certain places because I allowed them to have my data, then I'd be interested in that. Again, it would probably depend on like the value proposition of them selling. Like, how is you selling my data to this other company going to benefit me? Mm. And if there's no tangible benefit, it's like I'm going to want most of that back because I'm doing you a favor by letting you sell it. If it's like, oh, this is going to provide this kind of a service for you that'll make this better, it's like okay, I'd be willing to like negotiate a lower rate. But like, if it's strictly like part of like the business of selling data then it's like, I should be getting most of that money because it's my data. Recently, I've been thinking about it. Anytime I go to the grocery store and enter in my phone number, um, which I've done for years, you know, since I've been an adult, but I'm just now realizing that's them tracking my purchases and them collecting my data. Mm. If consumers demand it and they start, you know, saying, well, I'm not doing Facebook until they change X, Y, Z. I'm not doing TikTok until they change this, whatever. And unless they demand that, it's never going to change because companies have no reason to change it. They have no, you know, they have no incentive to change it at all. And, but I do think that that sort of, that like sleeping dragon could be awakened, you know, like the sleeping dragon of consumer anger about how the hell did we get in this situation? The people working together, this could be powerful if it, there could be a movement of, on some moral level, everybody own your data and we can change the world in a way, making these big data companies rethink their model that sometimes works for us, but also sometimes really works against us. Mm -hmm. So own your data makes me think, me owning my data, maybe not a big deal. Millions of people owning their data could be a before and after type of thing. Mm -hmm.